Always remember, anything that you may see presented at any of the stories here is in no way meant to diagnose or treat a particular problem in your personal pet. Only your veterinarian can do that after examining your pet thoroughly. So if you do have any concerns about a health problem in your pet, you definitely want to make a call to your veterinarian today. in for a recheck a few days after surgery is Benji, an adorable orange and white cat who at some point in his life had what only could be described as quite a bad day. Benji was found as a stray cat and it was immediately realized he was in need of some care. As can be seen, his right hind leg appeared to have a pretty severe injury and the finder also noticed that his ear looked very swollen. Brought into spay neuter save for a further look, the team got to work on sedating him immediately to get a better idea of what was going on. One feel of that leg after he was sedated, and they had their answer. Benji had suffered a severe fracture to his tibia, what we call our shin bone, and there was really only one option for him at this point. So Benji had the type of fracture that probably happened a, a while ago, and as a result, instead of the bones kind of just trying to heal together normally like this, what happened is they kind of shifted position a little bit and then kind of one overlapped on the other. And that's an incredibly hard fracture to try to fix. You certainly can do it potentially by kind of distracting or pulling the bones back into proper alignment and then putting a bone plate on. Uh, in the shelter and, and nonprofit rescue world, uh, we unfortunately just really usually don't have that option. And, and the, the easiest and the kindest thing to do in those situations is to just amputate the leg and you know cats do really really well with amputations uh, dogs do as well uh, first of all they obviously are on all four legs so uh, it's a little bit easier for them to get around but also the biggest thing really is they don't have the kind of mental block I guess is the best way to put it that we as humans do they don't really have the ability to forethink as far as we know and and realize oh my god I'm missing a limb how am I gonna get around what am I gonna do all those things they kind of just adapt and, and go on so uh, uh, his break was pretty severe uh, in that tibia shin area and so uh, really the, the, the easiest and best thing for him was to go ahead and amputate that leg. That will take away any kind of pain from those bones uh, not healing properly as well as just make it easier for him to get around in general. In addition to his unfortunate leg issues, he was also found to have a hematoma in the earlobe of his right ear. So this type of hematoma is called an oral hematoma, and that's oral, A-U-R-A-L, not O-R-A-L. So it's, it's dealing with the ear and uh, what we call the ear pinna, or what we would commonly refer to as the ear lobe. And the ear lobe is basically kind of uh, two pieces of skin that are then uh, sandwiched over a piece of cartilage in the ear. And so what happens when an oral hematoma happens is there's some sort of trauma to the ear itself. And it would be the equivalent of your eye getting a blood blister. So if, if we've pinched our skin really quick or something like that, sometimes you'll see a blood blister kind of pop up in your hand. Same thing happens kind of, except in this case, it's with the ear. So uh, you get kind of, instead of the ear flaps uh, and pinnae staying nice and solid against the cartilage, you actually get the area to fill with blood. So you actually get the, the pinnae to kind of fill with blood, become this kind of poofy little thing. And so we do have to go in and uh, usually drain it. And then sometimes, uh, as we had to do in Benji's case, we had to go in and uh, put some sutures there to tack everything down to allow everything to kind of stay seated down uh, to the cartilage, kind of pulling everything together to allow it to heal together. And we will go ahead and pull those sutures. Sometimes we can get away with just draining something like that uh, and things will kind of stay down but uh, usually there are other surgical corrections that are needed but uh, uh, we do see it from time to time and uh, usually they do fine once we go ahead and get that pressure and the blood off of there. Finally as we got in and looked a little closer it was noted that Benji also needed some mild dental work to deal with some infected teeth. Oh and of course because our name is what we do he did require a little bit of a quick neutering as well. And so it was off to surgery for our unlucky feline. The first step for the team was to perform a hind leg amputation on his fractured leg. Dr. Langlois chose to do what is known as a mid-femoral hind leg amputation. 
This is where all of the muscle of the thigh area is carefully dissected away from the femur. Once all the major blood vessels have been sutured closed and all major nerve areas given a medication to deaden any pain sensation, a saw blade is used to cut the femur in half to be able to completely remove the leg. After all of this, the dissected muscles are sutured back together and then the skin is closed over the exposed muscle. Fortunately for him, everything went quite smoothly and there were no complications throughout the leg amputation. To fix the hematoma, Dr. Langlois had to first drain out the blood that accumulated from the old injury and then use suture to tack the earlobe back down to prevent it from filling up with blood again. All appeared to go well with this procedure too. And after a quick snip snip to remove any chance of him fathering more kittens, it was off to the dental table for a quick cleaning, taking care of any infected teeth he may have had. After that, he had a nice smooth recovery and was sent home with a caretaker and a local rescue to continue to heal up and get plenty of love and affection. At his one week recheck, you can see he's already feeling better and doing great. Some more ear medication was given to help deal with a little bit of a residual ear infection. But otherwise, he was exactly where the vet team wanted him to be at this point in his recovery. So while Benji may have had a really, really bad day at some point earlier in his life, his luck definitely turned around quite a bit when he found his way to spay neuter save. His life is now looking nothing but up, and you made it possible. Thank you for donating and making it possible for us to make Benji's days ahead so much better.